Hello and welcome to the pod. Now, in case you're wondering what it looks like inside, this is it. It was four months in the making. It's three metres long and 2.2 metres wide. And if you're not too tall, there's enough space to stand up, which is just about enough room-ish. This pod costs a lot of money to create and it's owned by everybody that supports Greenpeace, people that work on the ships, people that work street campaigning in local groups all over the world. But during the time of this action that we're planning to do, it will be owned by the people that will be living inside it. And if I'm one of those guys, this will be home for however many days we can stay on board while we stop Arctic drilling. The whole pod is solar powered. There are solar panels on the roof and this is the main switch panel where we can control the lights, the radio and the other communications. This is the IT department. It may not look like much, but it's got Wi-Fi and that allows us to Skype and tweet and generally keep in touch with the outside world. If we get the pod into position on the side of the platform and stop it from drilling, it's a pretty cheeky thing to do. And I really hope that it, it gets enough publicity and it moves things on to really get something done about this issue. While we're in here, we've got to stay alive. In the kitchen, we've got food, spicy vegetable rigatoni, yum. And luckily, the pod comes with an ensuite toilet. So that's the pod where hopefully three people are going to be living. It's going to be great.